I recently reviewed the Kodak camera printer. So this was a camera that had a printer built in. If you just wanted the printer, you didn't want the camera element, you just want to use your mobile phone. Well, I've got two options for you today, a mini printer and a larger printer. So let's start with the mini printer first. This is a Bluetooth printer, kindly sent to me for review. There's not much in the box. You get the main Bluetooth printer, a user guide, which you don't really need because it's so simple to use. And to charge this up, there's a USB cable. It's a micro USB cable that just plugs in. It's a nice looking bit of kit. It's glossy, so you can see it's quite reflective. There's not much to it. On one side is the opening drawer for the main printing cartridges. It's 10 prints to each cartridge and it just slides in, slides out. So when you're ready, you pop a new one in. Cartridges come in packs of threes and it's a three by three print. There's a charging port, a reset button, a power button. There's a couple of indicator lights, bits unclear on here, but those will just let you know it's powered on. And then there's a little slit for the printed photo to come out. This is all controlled by a companion app. You pair the printer, find the photo you want to print and hit the print button. This is going to take a few minutes because the printer needs to sort the file, warm up and then start printing. So while it's doing that, let me just give you a quick tour of the app. Very easy to use. You can turn photos monochrome. You've got transformation tools where you can crop them into different aspect ratios. You can adjust brightness, contrast, saturation and sharpness. There's a range of inbuilt filters. There's also some frames if you want to add a funky frame to your photo. You can make picture collages. And the one that's probably the most interesting for me is this, I suppose you might call it a beauty filter where you can actually adjust the physical appearance of the person in the shot. You don't have to do any of that. Of course, you can edit this in something else, Photoshop Mobile or any other app, save the photo and just load it in to this app for printing. And you can see the printing process it takes a few minutes. So I'm going to speed it up and it layers the different colors. So first it prepares, then it goes through the different colors and eventually it protects the photo. And once it's fully printed, it's ready straight away. There's no waiting around. There's no smudging. It prints off really good quality. I'll put affiliate links to both this printer and the next printer in the description below. So if you're looking for something that prints slightly larger photos, then this could be your better option. It prints four by six photos. In the box, you get almost everything you need. You get the manual, which just explains how to set this up and the app you need. You get the printing paper. There's a tray which connects to the main printer, and that's where you put the paper. I'll show you that in a moment. There's an adapter in case you've got an Apple phone that doesn't have USB type C. There's the main printer itself, which is a nice looking little unit in white and yellow. And there's a power brick. This needs to be plugged in. The main tray clips in, it clips in and it stays in very solidly. You can remove it, but it makes a horrible noise if you do. So just be aware of that. It's probably going to stay like this for the long term. You open this lid, pop the paper in. You get some paper included. You can see it's got a glossy front and the back's very obvious which size the back is. And you put this glossy side up. So you're almost ready to print. It comes preloaded with the print cartridge. And if you need to replace that, that's just at the side. This hatch drops down and that's the cartridge that comes pre-installed. Replacement cartridges are available in packs with the paper itself, which I think is a great idea. So you get the cartridge and enough paper for 80 sheets being printed off. Around the back is some little air vents, the power supply and where the final print comes out. There's a power button on the other side and at the top is that USB type C connector. And this is where you'll plug in your device. So this is the one thing that obviously doesn't come with this is the camera or the storage medium. So you can connect this via Bluetooth, but in my case, I'm going to just first demo this plugged in. So just plug it straight in. The phone detects it. I'm running Android. I simply have to tell it that I want to use it for photos. And then I'm in the app. The app allows you to do some editing. So if you have a photo on your phone, but you haven't had a chance to edit it in another program, you can do some basic edits. You can do crops. You can apply filters. You can change the hue, saturations. You can add frames, you can add little stickers. There's lots of options here. Alternatively, if you like the photo as it is, you can just print it as it is, or you can edit it in another package and then bring it onto your mobile phone for printing. Printing takes a couple of minutes. It's a really cool process to watch. You'll see the paper 
come out and then be sucked back in because it applies a few different layers. So there's different color layers, first of all, and then there's a protective layer. As it comes through, there's the yellow going through and the red being applied. You'll see the photo slowly develop and eventually it will pop out and it is ready to be picked up straight away. So it's not a case of waving it around waiting for the ink to set it is done once it spits it out it is ready and i'm really pleased with the results our black cat quite often is very difficult to get a decent photo of because the the detail gets lost but you can see on this particular photo the detail is really clear you can see a little whiskers you can see the plants that she's hiding behind so as long as you've got a good photo you'll get a really good print and then it's got these little side sections so that you can trim this down and fit it in a frame for those who don't want to plug it in you can connect via bluetooth it has bluetooth on board you have to search for it and then away you go and as you can see the app also offers phone case printing but these are looking like quite old phones now. I don't have any of these, so I haven't been able to test it. So overall though, a great product if you're looking to print off your own photos at home. Thanks for watching.